The Royal Rumble is one of the most highly anticipated shows of the entire year. We get numerous debuts, returns, surprises, plus it is the official start to the road to WrestleMania. So there is a lot that is on the line for the Royal Rumble. So here are five wrestlers who could be making their WWE debut at this year's Royal Rumble. Number five, Gilia. Apologies if I am pronouncing that wrong, but Gilia is the current New Japan Strong Women's Champion. Plus, she has held countless titles in stardom, which is the number one uh, women's professional wrestling company in Japan. She's only 29 years old. She's one of the best women's wrestlers in the entire world, if you ask anybody. And she is going to be a massive get for WWE if they are going to try to pursue her. Now maybe a few months ago the idea of this happening wouldn't be that realistic. However, with Io Sky becoming the WWE Women's Champion and with them re-signing Kyrie Sane, I think that really does open up uh, the doorway to Japan for all of the women's wrestlers over there and it's something that WWE has been work working on with their booking of Japanese wrestlers in general. Needless to say, Gilly would be a massive get for WWE, and what better time to have her debut than at the Royal Rumble. Number four, Diana Perrazzo. Diana Perrazzo is another really talented female wrestler. She's one of the best in the entire world. She has held titles in Impact, ROH, and GCW, plus a few other ones, and she's set to become a free agent in January. Her contract with Impact Wrestling reportedly comes to an end on December 31st, thus making her a free agent starting in January. And I think it's possible that she debuts for WWE at the Royal Rumble, which is later in the month of January. This would be a huge get for WWE, potentially putting her in the Raw Women's Division because the Raw Women's Division is lackluster compared to SmackDown. They are just lacking that star power that SmackDown has. So they have been kind of building up their next generation of stars on Raw, but throwing Deanna Perrazzo on Monday Night Raw, having her debut at the Royal Rumble would really help the women's roster on Monday Night Raw and it will help the women's roster in WWE as a whole. Number three, Jade Cargill. Now I know that Jade Cargill's already signed with WWE, but that was a couple of months ago and she still hasn't made her debut quite yet. There were some rumors or reports or ideas that she was gonna do it at Survivor Series, but obviously WWE is taking their time with training Jade Cargill. Not that she necessarily needed a lot of training, but she doesn't have that many years of training under her belt. So to me, it's pretty obvious, it's pretty clear that she's going to debut at the Royal Rumble. And I think Jade Cargill is going to make a big impact in WWE and more specifically at the Royal Rumble. Now, I don't think she's going to win the Royal Rumble match, but I think she's going to break the record for most women eliminated in a single match, which I believe is eight, potentially nine, but I think she's gonna break that. She doesn't necessarily need to win the Royal Rumble, I just think she needs to have a strong showing, and I do think she's going to debut at the Royal Rumble this year. Number two, Braun Breaker. I know, I know, oh, Braun Breaker's in NXT, NXT's a part of WWE, that's all fine and dandy. Sure, Braun Breaker has maybe showed up on a show or two over the past however many months ago that was, but he, I'm counting this for him to make his official WWE debut to where he's going to stop wrestling in NXT and I think we're going to get it at the Rumble. Like a few other NXT superstars, Braun Breaker is ready for the main roster. The guy is going to be one of the best heels in WWE as soon as he gets called up. I think they're just waiting for the right time and I think that's going to be at the Royal Rumble and I think he's going to have a strong showing. I don't think he's going to break any records like Jade Cargill but I think he's going to eliminate a few people and I think he's going to eliminate someone to then give him a good first few to start off with. Number one, Kazuchika Okada. The Rainmaker is set to become a free agent in January of 2024, and you talk about star power, you talk about Okada. The guy has done virtually everything there is to do in New Japan Pro Wrestling. He's already one of the greatest New Japan Pro Wrestling wrestlers of all time, 
and there's reports that he's interested in joining either WWE or AEW. And after WWE missed out on signings like Jay White or Will Ospreay, they need to get a, one of these massive free agents, and I think that's going to be Okada. Now, Okada is in the middle of his prime, although he has had so much success in New Japan over the years. He's still in his mid-30s, so he has a lot left in the tank. Now, there's some ideas going around currently that the push for Shinsuke Nakamura is to show people uh, who wrestle or, or who are free agents outside of the United States that they can be presented well on WWE television. And like I said, Okada has accomplished virtually everything there is to accomplish outside of the WWE, so I think if he wants to take another massive step in his career, then him going to WWE would do that. All right, that's gonna wrap up the video. You let me know in the comments down below who do you think is gonna debut at the Royal Rumble.